In this lesson, we are going to continue on with our discussion about selection tools. So, so far we have discussed our marquee selection options and our lasso selection options. Now we're going to go over here to one of its neighbors here, which is the object selection tool, which is going to allow us to be a little bit more efficient in our selection because Photoshop is going to do all the heavy lifting and find an object that it thinks you want to select. So typically it's going to be doing it based off of contrast, right? So you can see here's this little kitty on the stairs. And now you'll see when I choose my object selection tool, you'll see there it is right there. I have some options here. I have my object finder options selected, and I also have my mode for either the lasso or the rectangle. So the object finder checkbox, I recommend having that selected. And then the lasso versus the rectangle, we're going to explore what the differences are in just a second. So the object finder is essentially what you think it's going to be. Move your mouse over, it's going to say, hey, is that what you want to select? Or is that what you want to select? So you can see here, because of what Photoshop is doing in terms of its own kind of algorithm, it recognizes and isolates what you may want to select. So very simply, I'm going to go ahead and click on the kitty. And just like that, I get my little marching ants all around the cat, and that's perfect, right? Save me a lot of time. And this is really as simple as that. Okay, now let's go ahead and try another example. So I'm gonna go over to here, go over to my DaveCowboyHat.psd, and you can see that's me looking tough, but you know what? I think I wanna look a little bit tougher. And what I'd like to do is have me kind of in the background having a little desert back there. I can do any number of ways, right? I could just highlight over myself just like that. You can see that. Or I can draw my rectangle or my lasso tool around it, whatever I need to do here, okay? Now you'll see here that it's not getting it entirely, right? You can see how it's like it's trying, it's trying getting it. So sometimes you do need to kind of like reinforce it a little bit. So this might be a good example of when I'm going to use the lasso tool, okay? Because I really, really need to kind of draw the point home literally and figuratively and i come back over to this right and really really tell it hey this is what i want so let's just come all the way to the end and we'll see how good of a job it does after drawing around it wait for your little marching ants and if it doesn't get it perfectly don't worry about it i'm just going to go ahead and hold down my shift key and just draw around it like that and maybe a little bit okay that's a little bit better okay and we'll just do one more for good reinforcement Good, I'm happy with that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an inverse selection so I can then delete what's on the outside of me. So very simply, I'm gonna right click and say select inverse and then easily just delete it. So now you can see where am I? I am now in my natural habitat of the desert. You can see how easy that was and it selected not me, right? But yes, it did initially, but because I did the inverse, it selected the outside of me. So you can see how you can use a combination of your tools to be able to accomplish what you like. But the bottom line is when I did my selection, I didn't have to use the magnetic lasso tool or anything else because it found myself, my object that I wanted to select very easily by using the object selection tool. All right, so go ahead and practice that, have fun, and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.